What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial, and in this video we will learn how to create a realistic Lego animation in Blender, just like this one. Yeah, uh, let's get into it. First step, models. I get my models from mechabricks.com, which is a free awesome site where you can download and build your own virtual Lego. We want to go into the workshop, where we can construct and build whatever set we'd like to make using all of the existing bricks. Uh, I'll just go in here and create a floor with some sort of brick wall. Uh, yeah, you can change the color down in the right tab. Uh, copy and paste and voila, you got a quite boring set, but who cares, it sure looks cool. Now we're gonna export this as a ZMBX file. If you don't have the option, you just haven't installed the plugin. To get it, you have to go to the Mechabricks shop and install the Blender Lite add-on, which is free by the way. Back in Blender, you're gonna go to preferences and hit install. Here you're going to navigate to the folder you just downloaded. Search for Blender Lite and you should find it. Inside the folder, you should find a zip file. Click it and hit install add-on. In the add-ons tab, you can search for Mechabricks and just check the box. Minifigures. You can browse hundreds of Lego sets that others have made in the library section. When you've found something you like, go into the editor and export it as a ZMBX file. Let's set up the scene. Go into Blender and import your models using the Mechabricks plugin. Find your files and hit import. Do the same for the minifigure and boom! You're a Blender god! Okay, maybe not yet. Add in a camera and an HDRI for lighting. I use this one from HDRI Haven. Always remember to light from the sides and not from the front. Never light from the front, it will just look fake and boring and shit and garbage and yeah, don't do it. I lit this scene from the side. You can now go in and adjust the Lego bricks so they look more natural and less perfect. If you have the paid version, you can just do this with a transform slider. Your camera is small, make it bigger, not the Legos. If you do, they will look like actual garbage. Change the resolution to make it cinematic. Now you can select all the bricks in the set and join them together. This will allow you to array the joined objects and make the set larger. Rigging. If you try to move the character, you'll see that his body is not connected in any way. To fix this, we need a rig. Lucky for us, the guys over at Blender Bricks have a free Lego rig that is absolutely amazing. Go down to tutorials and hit getting started. Here you'll find the rigs. We want the advanced IK one. To download it, you click on this image. Back in Blender, we can append this rig using the append feature. Here you'll click on collections and collection. You should now have a rig, but there are also a bunch of random things next to him. To hide them, you first need to enable all of the visibility features and uncheck them under the bone shapes properties. Now we are ready to rig this guy. So to rig him, you first select the body part, in my case his arm, shift click the rig and go into pose mode. Select the bone, hit ctrl p and parent to bone. You basically do this for all of his limbs. If you don't know what parts to rig to what bone, you can go to blenderbricks.com where they show the basics. We now have a working rig! Let's animate. I want my character to walk across the scene from one point to the other, so I'll have him start over here. For the walk cycle, you start by posing your character in a mid-walk position. Now add a keyframe for all of the bones. First step is to go forward 7 frames and move the middle controller to the center of your minifigure. Add a keyframe. Second step is to move backwards 2 frames and add a keyframe to the leg that's not touching the ground. Third step is to move 8 frames and swing the leg forward, keyframe. Also move the middle bone forward so we're back at the start position again. Now you just do this over and over and over and over and over. Done! It looks terrible, I know. To fix this you just have to animate the other body parts. The arms should be pretty straightforward, they just swing back and forth. Same with the torso and head. Setting up the scene. You've done the animation, but your scene still looks quite flat and boring. Let's fix that. In the camera settings, make the focal length a little longer, enable depth of field, adjust the focus, and set the f-stops to something really low. Also change the ratio to 2 for an anamorphic bokeh. So if you use this node setup in the world tab, you can rotate your HDRI. So if you rotate it to minus 115 degrees and bring down the brightness, you'll get this. Hit render and yeah, you've got yourself a sweet looking uh, Lego animation I guess. Thanks for watching guys, if you decide to try this, tag me on Instagram, we'd love to see you guys Lego animations. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like and blah 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 blah, who cares? Peace out.